overall recipe for hell no if you ask me. What it is, what it ain't, it's your girl Ombre Alert and I am back with another video. Okay, so in today's video we are getting into another biopic series. This is episode 8. Um, as we get deeper into these biopics, I am going to be switching things up a little bit because um, some of the people that I have done recently in the biopic series are entertainers and celebrities. Um, as far as, you know, like musicians and singers. So I'm kind of skirting off from that because a biopic really is essentially a video or a movie about anyone's life. So it could be about anybody. So in today's video, we're gonna dive into a movie about Jeffrey Dahmer, the serial killer, okay? So before we get into this video, I have to talk about my black owned business, okay? I have a black owned business called Empress Solutions where I sell natural hair care for women with and men with thick, kinky, coily hair. You know what I'm saying? I have an array of shampoo, I have conditioner, I have styling cream, I have um, oil, hair growth oil, you know what I'm saying? I also have jewelry on there. Um, I, I sell these life crystals. I have earrings on there as well. So um, more products are coming soon. So if you want to support me and support my channel, you can also support my black owned business. All the links will be in the description box below. So make sure you support your girl and let me know, you know what I'm saying, that you rocking with me. Make sure you leave a comment below and tell me how you like my channel and things like that, okay? So, we are going to dive into a biopic that I came across a couple of days ago, and it is called My Friend Dahmer. And it came out um, in 2017, and I was kind of thrown off at the name. I didn't know, like, I didn't know, like, exactly what it was going to be about so essentially this movie came out in 2017 and it was in the perspective of one of Jeffrey Dahmer's friends in high school. So this whole movie, excuse me, I'm drinking Earl Grey tea as well. So this whole movie was basically about Dahmer's experience in high school and um, several friends that he met along the way and his, you know, trouble growing up and what's not and trying to, you know, just fit in, you know, you know how high school is. High school can be kind of like a popularity contest, if you will. And all schools, no matter where it is, it kind of has the same elements of that. Um, trying to figure out who who you click with, you know what I'm saying, who you can talk to, what um, social gatherings you want to go to, um, like pep rallies and proms and things like that. So it was based off of Jeffrey Dahmer's experience in high school and how that kind of catapulted what he did later on in his life, which was becoming a serial killer, okay? So there was scenes in the movie um, where, you know, he had a shed that he kept a lot of dead animals at and he enjoyed um, walking along like a road so that he could see if there was some roadkill and he would grab the roadkill, you know what I'm saying? Take it back to his little shed. And his father at the time was a chemist so he was able to get like acid from his father and he would take that and put the animals in the acid and watch them dissolve and preserve their body parts and things like that so um that's that's kind of weird to do um as a teenager that's kind of strange to do um it's strange kind of period but at the same time it's like people there are people that become professionals in like taxidermy and stuffing animals and it's an actual career so it's like when you see this movie you could have been you you kind of feel like dang he could have went the other way like he could have turned this into a career instead of like actually getting off like killing things you know what i'm saying so 
you kind of see like it develop like his interest in dead things start to develop um he is mostly a loner in school so he doesn't really have friends i think that he does gain associates um towards like his 12th grade yeah. years out with some guys but it's only because he made a fool of himself and and that was like the saddest part of the movie was that he was like making a fool of himself and acting like he was having seizures um just to get attention and just to make people laugh in school so he would literally like just walk in the hallway and um just start you know acting like he was having a seizure in front of everybody and everybody would be laughing so that was like his way of getting attention so um and it, it really does take you back to school and it makes you think about like how things used to be like with peer pressure and wanting to be accepted by people and it makes you like i felt really sad you know what i'm saying because i didn't do things like that to get attention but I kind of wasn't acting myself as well and not even in high school I was doing stuff not like that but I was doing things that or or talking like I wouldn't normally talk um, in middle school just to be accepted and it, it does make you think back to like your school um, and um, your school years and how you used to you know do little things because you was a kid like just to be accepted or used to hang around people that you didn't really like um just to you know feel cool or whatever so he started hanging around these boys and the boys wanted to you know make stunts of him having seizures everywhere so they would um essentially just join in with Dahmer and they would also you know, act stupid and act like they had seizures and speech impediments um, throughout the school. And that was their way of like making, you know, their 12th grade year kind of like a stunt. You way, know? I feel like this movie does kind of humanize Jeffrey Dahmer because it did show like um, a lot of the issues that he was having in his life. Okay, so he went to high school at Revere High School in Ohio in a small town. And all of the things, most of the things that happened in the movie was tr he was um, having trouble at home with his family. Um, I didn't even know he had a little brother, you know. In the movie, he has a little brother, so I was thrown off. I was like, I got to find out if he, if this part is real, if he really had a little brother. But um, um, you do see, like, a lot of trouble that he was going through so not only was he like a social outcast in high school and was having trouble fitting in but um in and out the movie you see that he's um having trouble at home his parents are arguing all the time they get a divorce and um the father you know leaves the home and in a car scene he explains to him that they're getting a divorce and that he already has you know, um, taking steps to kind of move out. And um, let's just say that this made everything worse. <laughs> and um, even before all of this happened, you could see his father's kind of frustration with Jeffrey because he notices that he's doing too much when it comes to him killing all of these animals and you know keeping them preserved in the shed he actually gets so angry that he tells him basically like it's a wrap like i'm about to break this shed down like i let you have a pet cemetery when you was a kid i think that's strange and unacceptable shed and tells him it's over like you gotta find something else to do you need to get some friends and you need to be more social you can't be doing this um so he does show his frustration with that and then i think that he ends up buying him some um, weights so that he can work out and maybe get some girls you know what i'm saying um so this is the 70s okay and i think that jeffrey's starting to discover that not only is he an outcast but he's also having sexual thoughts about men and he doesn't know what to do about it and he knows that it's not accepted where he goes to school or in the community um he does have a friend 
that is gay and he used to get beat up all the time at school and he was all jeffrey was already getting like bullied so i don't think he wanted to make it worse but it's just a lot on top of like it's like he's he started off killing things and then he started um he started off killing things and then he started working out and then he started realizing he was gay and then his parents is having issues at home um and in turn that also makes him because he's keeping all of this on the inside and he's trying to have friends as well he in turn starts to drink and his father drinks because of the arguing and stuff going on in the house but um you can see scenes in a movie where like jeffrey will take the whole bottle that his father was drinking from and he'll like go off in the forest and just be drunk as shit or he'll like be behind the school and he'll like with scenes in the movie where he would come to school and he would be like really drunk to the point where you can smell it and you can see it like you can see that he drunk like he's intoxicated you know and the thing also that was sad was that his own parents weren't weren't paying attention to him at all um, to the point where they didn't even notice that he was drinking as definitely as much as he was because he was drunk as a fish. Um, and his parents didn't even like pay him no mind um, before they started having issues or whatever. And um, in the movie, I think his his mother actually has some kind of issues where I think she was looking for some pills or something and. Even Jeffrey was like, I thought you stopped doing that, you know, so um, you could see that his mother, his own mother has some issues with like um, some type of substance abuse issues and his father drinking all the time. So it's just an overall recipe for hell no, if you ask me. I hope that you guys really like this video. Make sure that you like, comment below, and subscribe. It's Ombrailer, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.